Hello and good evening, this is Ruth Pozuelo from Curval.com and uh, today we're going to continue with our mapping geographical locations in Power BI. What we are going to focus on today is how and what to do when Power BI maps your locations in the incorrect places, which happens very often actually. So without any further delay, let's begin. Okay, so here we are in Power BI and uh, on the previous video I show you how to create maps using the normal map, that one, and how to create it using the shape maps. I absolutely love these ones, they are really good, especially when you want to see an overview of the data. But what we're going to talk about today is what happens when Power BI starts mapping things in the wrong places, which happens very, very often. So just as a recap, this is how our data set looks like. We have city, continent, country, is a code, two digit. We have the three digit, one, two, latitude, longitude, and we have sessions and subcontinents. This is the Google Analytics geographical data. That's where we have sessions. So this is basically showing us where people are coming from to a specific website. So here we have the normal map, this one, and I have a slicer that is um, filtering everything by Spain. Now in here, I just have sessions down there, but I haven't put anything on the location. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to map uh, cities of Spain that has visited this particular website. So we just put city in there. And as you can see, Power BI does a fairly good job mapping this, but not really all the way. As you can see, we have here Pinto, Toledo, or Granada that are placed uh, in the US and in Managua. So this is not correct, right? Uh, we know that all these cities are from Spain. So what we need to do is to tell Power BI that not only the city, but to say, okay, these cities are from the country is Spain. It's very, very often you will find that cities, the same city is in tons of different countries, which is a bit annoying actually, especially when you're working with geographical locations. So you need to be more specific. So one way to do it is going back to edit queries. And here we create a custom column. And what we're going to do is we're going to concatenate city with country. And we call this, I don't know, location, for example. That always happens when I forget one of these. So here we have, so it says city and country, Coruña, Spain. Okay, so let's try that. We go back to our map and instead of having city in there, we're going to put our newly created location. And this is perfect because it just finds everything in the right place. So great, just by doing that, we could actually place all the cities in Spain. Now let's choose another country and see if it's doing well on other places too. Let's pick, for example, um, United States. There's plenty of stuff to go wrong in there. Let's see what it does. Here you see that is loading. So far so good. I 
and now things are starting to get a bit wrong. I don't know. I don't think the United States is in Germany yet. Uh, Delhi, United States? No. It's still loading. Let's give it a few seconds to load everything. So now everything is loaded and as you can see there are places that is just incorrectly mapped and it's very obvious that it's like that. So what can we do? Um, you can say, hey, you have latitude and longitude, why not put it in there, right? And say, okay, well, let's do that. We put latitude in latitude and longitude in longitude. And it looks like everything is correctly, but if you look in here, is well, it's not mapping things correctly, right? And the reason for that is because latitude and longitude are, you see, it said first latitude, first longitude. So we are not formatting these two right. So that's why it's just not picking it up the way it should. So how do we have to format latitude and longitude so it actually works? What we have to do is we go back in there, edit queries, and Latitude and longitude have to be, first of all, decimals. Okay, so we do that, close and apply, and we let it load. So as you can see, it says minimum of latitude, minimum of longitude, and quite a few things are in the right place, but not everything yet. And the reason for that is that we have to have latitude and longitude tagged as such. So let's do that. We go back here and we say longitude is actually longitude and latitude is latitude and we don't want to summarize any of them. Don't summarize, don't summarize. Remove them and we put it back in. Now, if you have location in there, this is what you always find. So let's remove location first. And it is telling us to display latitude and longitude, set the aggregate to don't summarize. So let's do that. Don't summarize, don't summarize. And now everything is being properly located in the map. The disadvantage of these is that when you hover over, you just see latitude and longitude and you don't see the location. So for a user, this is not helpful at all. If you try to put location back in, let's put city. You still is, okay, you cannot do that. You cannot put a location with latitude and longitude like that. You have to have the average, the mean, the max, or something like that. And for the most part, that actually works and it, it does a pretty good job too. Sometimes it doesn't, but I mean, you have to be able to see the city to know if you are in the right place or not. So otherwise it's just absolutely impossible. Uh, another option, if you don't want to do it like this, if this average does not work, what you can do is you remove everything. You put latitude here, you put longitude there, and then I put the city as a legend. Now there are too many values for a legend, so it would tell me, hmm, not, not in this world, baby. But with countries that have less data, it would actually do it. I don't really like all the colors. So it's not an optimal solution. I actually prefer to have it on the location. But for that, you have to allow for the average or the mean or something like that. So check it out. If you see that this is mapping correctly, leave it like that, because you have to tell the users which city they are hovering over. Otherwise, it's just 
n- not such a good um, help for them just to see a point in latitude and longitude. Let's recap. You have a few options. You create the location um, cell, which is the city together with the country. That's one. And then you put in the location. So we do like that. And then we remove latitude and longitude. For the most part, you will do a great job. Let's pick something else. Um, Let's see. I pick places that I can actually see if he's doing a good job. Um, So as you can see here, it's placing everything in Sweden, which is a good thing. For most of the part of the times, this will do a good enough job. If it doesn't, just put in latitude and longitude. Remember, there has to be decimals and you have to tag them as latitude and longitude in here, data category. That together with the location. So you can see the city, I don't know if it's necessary to see the country. And then you see the latitude and longitude, the number of sessions. But if this does not work, then you have just third option. You remove that, you put latitude like there, longitude like there, you leave location empty. And if there are not a lot of data points, that will work too. You will see all the cities in different colors. I don't know how good that is. I think it's a bit disturbing actually. And if there are too many data points, you are left with this which is not very optimal at all. But, well, at least it's mapping the things in the right place. And depending on what you're trying to do the, with the data, it might be okay. So I'm hoping that this will solve most of your issues, but if you still do not manage to place the cities and the locations in the right place, or you don't have latitude and longitude, there is another method to do it, and it's using Bing Maps and Google Maps, but that will be for our last and final video. So um, this is actually uh, everything for today. So thanks for watching today. Uh, If you like the video, let me know by liking it. And if you can uh, and want, you can share it in your social channels to help me spread the word. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, uh, as usual in the comment box or any of the social channels listed below, you can contact me and uh, subscribe. I publish Power BI videos every week. Have a great evening. Bye.